The thing that I see here is that the people who are talking the most about hatred, bigotry and tolerance, or like intolerance, are the people who are the most hateful, bigoted and intolerant. It appears that the Straight Pride Parade is over. It's around 4 p.m. here in Boston. The protesters are chanting, permits up, permits up, permits up. Is that a threat? We'll see what happens. I actually like that song. Yeah, it's, right. it. it's kind of hard not to sing. Oh, they threw in Nazis suck at the end. <laughs> Just to speak on the Boston PD, we, we had, we were hearing different things. So we were hearing that the Boston PD was not letting um, some straight pride marchers into the actual event where the guest speakers were speaking. Um, that's being reported. Um, even the organizer of the event, John, was pretty frustrated with it too. So I suspect that the Boston PD is really, really trying to avoid an all-out riot because there have been more threats made against this little parade um, than any other parade possibly in Boston. There's bomb squad out here, the snipers on top of the buildings. Um, you have the riot police also that are ready for a riot and so I think they're being extremely cautious but they're doing a great job protecting people and I think that's what they want to do is they really just want to avoid just all out physical harm because it's pretty clear that the other side wants to do that so if they're not here if there's no intervention there would probably be fights um, there might be right now when people are going home, so that's kind of what we're going to look at right now, too. You're seeing the left and you're seeing these protesters say, Boston hates you, go home. It, just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why, why, why are people on the right or conservatives accused of hate speech online? But you come into reality and you come to these events, and when the opposite sides of the political spectrum meet, it's clear. It's clear who are the ones that are spewing hate and real, literal hate speech is coming out of their mouths. I just, I observe that. I, I, you guys are probably watching this and you're probably thinking the same thing, but take that mental note. So it looks like uh, Antifa is being told to go home <laughs> and they don't want to go home. <laughs> So now the parade is over, but Antifa and the left are literally shutting down an intersection with a standoff with the police. And Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter.
majority and he's against minorities. I, I, I'm talking loud enough. I know you hear the, hear the blowing in your ear. You're not deaf, are you? What? what, what oh, you're pretending to be deaf. That's cute. That's real cute of the right. That's real cute. Back up. Back up. Move. The cow goes move. Move back. Cow goes move. Totally unnecessary. <laughs> it's like it's like a child. You have to walk it home. No, but just like standing, listening to them talk, they don't understand why the police are moving away. They think it's just because the police are being assholes, and the police are like, we're trying to open the road up. What's up, guys? We are here. This is, I guess, the after party <laughs> of the Straight Pride Parade. Oh, 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 oh. Rod, Rod Weber, let him go. Please let that man go. Not cool. Be gentle, be gentle with this man. No pain compliance is necessary. He is not resisting. The man is not resisting. My leg! My leg! My fing leg! Bring your leg! Hold on! 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 What's up guys, I'm here with Sydney Watson, amazing YouTuber, right? Um, what were you observing right now as Antifa was just kind of like being pushed out? Um, just everything from this entire event, what's, what's sticking out to you, dude? Well, just even as I was standing on the other side of the road, there was a police, police officer basically talking to a bunch of people and he's saying, uh, what does love look like? And, and this girl who's, you know, got the trans flag on her, she says, well, you know, well, it doesn't look like what they're saying. And he goes, well, it doesn't look like what you're saying either. And it was obviously, police don't usually, they won't talk to you. For him to be saying this, he's like, there has to be a middle ground and neither side is trying to achieve that. And I think he's right. I think that's, I think there's like credit to that. So it just from, from honestly where I was just standing, just like hanging out, obviously like I'm not signed or anything, like they don't know where I'm from or anything like that. They're just so angry and hate filled. And they really are, like it's, it's actually, it's wild. They think that we're the hate-filled ones and yet they're the ones who are screaming, stopping police. And then they get upset when they get arrested. I, I just, it boggles my mind. It blows my mind. It's interesting. What, what are your thoughts on something that I've been thinking about throughout this entire event mm -hmm. is this, the left, the LGBTQ mm -hmm. community, the trans community, the, the mm -hmm. community preaches tolerance, right? right? They demand their right. spot in all social circles, which is okay, mm -hmm. but they don't tolerate these communities no, exactly. is that hypocrisy what what's what's your view on that what's your take on that the thing that i see here is that the people who are talking the most about hatred bigotry and tolerance or like intolerance are the people who are the most hateful bigoted and intolerant which is like you can't stand here and, and in the sun for hours and hours and hours screaming at the other side and think it's helpful how is this helpful? Like, what, what are you trying to achieve here? The thing is that this is not protesting. What this turns into is domestic terrorism, and that's why they throw things. That's why they physically attack you. No, this is not helpful. I just, I can't, like, having been here all day and standing in, like, their side all day and observing this, these people don't want resolution because all they care about is starting to hurt people. That's, that's, it's, it's, it just, I, I have no words for it. The parade has come to a conclusion. I think you guys have seen for yourselves that the left is continuing to be intolerant but demands tolerance only with their own ideologies, only with their own opinions, only from anyone that they agree with, anyone they disagree with, 
they claim that they are Nazis, fascists, white supremacists, and should be deported from humanity completely. I think that's what we saw today. Um, even children that were straight today that were marching were being called Nazis, were being called racists, were being called white supremacists. Um, to me, it's very heartbreaking. It's very sad to experience these things um, from Americans that are going at each other like this. And so continue to pray for America, you guys. Continue to pray that God would continue um, to hopefully unite us somehow, some way through the gospel of Christ. I love you guys very much. Please, and thank you to every single person that donated. Thank you to everyone that supported independent journalism. I want to ask you guys, if you guys want to support me, click the links below. You can support me financially to continue to do this and expose all the hypocrisy that's going on in America. I love to do this. I love to work for you guys, the donors, the ones that assist me in making these trips possible. Thank you guys so much, and let's continue. And this is just another one for the books. God bless you guys, and God bless America.